all right hello everyone welcome back to my channel my name is jessica today i am doing an update for my project 50 pan project no buy 50 pan 50 pan no buy so this project is i am trying to use up 50 items in my collection that is in my quote unquote influx categories um right now basically any colored products meaning like blushes bronzers highlights eyeshadows lip products any of those use them up completely and then once i've used 50 products then i can go ahead and buy one new thing it is my way of trying to get through the products that i have and also like allowing myself to be rewarded um for you know using up those products so that's that and what i usually do is in the very beginning of this video is i talk about the project pan and the second half i talk about like my no buy issues or what i'm feeling or all of that sort of stuff so yeah let's go ahead and get started the first thing on my uh, list of project 50 no buy is the mac sample pigments um and that is something that as i've said it's very close to my uh shade that i'm trying to pan in my pan that palette right now so that is on the back burner um no new progress with it not even going to bring it out because i haven't touched it at all so on to the next thing we have my vintage by jessica liebenskind uh, highlighter in rose gold so it is right here and i use it as a blush topper it is looking pretty good so all we have down here is just this itty bitty tiny bit and then all the way up here um i have a couple of trips this week or this month so i'm not going to bring this so my guess is next time i probably won't have that much progress on this because it's just too fragile and i'm just i don't want to bring it with me and have it break on me um yeah so that's that but i will say depending on how much i wear makeup in november and december which who knows right now with <laughs> the world the way it is sometimes i uh wear makeup like seven days out of the week and then other days other weeks i'm doing like once if none um so it's up and down with makeup usage but i think i could possibly get this done by the end of the year what do you all think i mean look how much is left not too bad and right now it's kind of chunking out a little bit I mean this is pretty close to the edge over here it looks almost not touched which is weird because i do try to put my brush over there i don't know like some of these are pretty close to the edge over there we'll see we'll see where this one goes i think that this one can be done by the end of the year and i probably shouldn't hit it like that <laughs> oh my gosh it's fine next we have the uh mac shade it is i'm calling it a camel color i don't know what the shade name is called the last time i repressed it i should have a picture from last time up um, but I repressed it and now there's just a tiny bit of pan right in the center again. Again, I think that this one, I think this one also can be done by the end of the year, which would be huge. And this I'm using as like a crease color. It's like this to set my shade, but it's also obviously like a color and pigment. And so it's just right there. Um, so I'm using it a little bit as like setting my crease and then like a base to transition shades um but after that i have a bunch of cream shades that i want to go ahead and use up and so i will bring those into the project the next thing we have is my Too faced sweet tea bronzer and here we go so i say this every time i'm trying to aim my brush over here because i know that once this side's gone i'm it's gonna be too like orange or dark for me so i am trying to use as much over here before I actually use stuff over here. And yet I still have, like I, I've gotten, I think pan up there. I mean, it's towards the edge. So I don't know if I'm, I'm not like necessarily claiming it as like pan because it just doesn't feel quite satisfying enough for me right now. But there is some pan up there um, unintentionally. So yeah, still working on this. It's gonna be like this for a really, really, really long time. This one's definitely not gonna be done by the end of the year. I know that for a fact. Um, it's probably going to carry me well into next year too. So next we have my Estee Lauder lipstick in um, Sugar Honey. And this is where we're at. We're getting pretty much like pretty down there, which is exciting. Um, it's the color I have on today. And yeah, let's see the progress that I made. So I also had a project five uses and I was using a lip gloss five or sorry, a lipstick five times and a lip and that was really bright. So that kind of got in the way. Like I've definitely used that. I think a little bit more than last time oh and i'm also started using my in the fall for you project pan i have a lipstick in there that i'm trying to get usage usages out of so between the two i really didn't use that this much and yet there is still 
a little bit of progress. I have it in the green right there. It's kind of out of focus, but there's like a little bit there. So that's well exciting. Um, let's go ahead and go on to the rest on this list. I have this uh, vintage by Jessica Lindenskyn eye pencil in jet black. And I really have not been using this. Like this has not been my goal. Um, one, I'm trying to use it my blue one that's after this, but um, nonetheless, there still was progress made and it is right there, just the tiniest bit, but that's still pretty good. And then we have a Makeup Forever um, eyeliner and it's a blue eyeliner in number 124, I think. This is all that's left. It's so close, so, so close. I mean, it's still like a lot, but mm, I mean, usually what happens with these types of pencils is whenever I'm twisting it, this one, this starts to give like between the two. And so it starts, this starts rotating and not moving this, it like spins on itself. So it no longer becomes like a grip that I can, you know, use this to sharpen it. So yeah, um, we'll see if that happens with this. If it doesn't, like, I think I can get pretty close to, like, I, I probably still have a lot more ways to go, but if it, does end up doing like the give thing where it just starts spinning. I think we have just a little bit left, but this is definitely my priority to get this done and over with because I still have quite, I have two more blue eyeliners in my collection, which is pretty wild. On to the next, we have my Lord & Berry lip liner and this is what it looks like right over here. And wait, did I show you the Makeup Forever right here in the green? Here it is, if I didn't. And then here's Lord & Berry, just a little bit. Again, my Lord & Berry, I didn't really get to use as much as I would like. I do use this with my Fall For You lipstick, but I don't use it. I didn't use it with my five uses because the five uses was like really, really bright pink. So, um, but yeah. Oh, and then next is my Dior lip gloss. It's this mini, but I think the last time I didn't mark it, I forgot. Not that I forgot. I mean, I guess I kind of forgot, but also I didn't have a Sharpie. Um, and I still don't. <laughs> I think I was just above the R, or like just below the R, one of the two. So I was here and now I'm down here. Once again, that lipstick, I didn't use it. I am using it for the fall for you, but yeah, this one, I mean, I think I can get it done by next time. I'm not quite sure. Again, I'm traveling a bit and honestly, this leaks a little bit on me. So I don't know if I'm, I'm literally debating cause I'm gonna leave here soon. I'm debating if I should bring this or not. I think this time around, I'm going to caution, caution on the no. So this one may or may not be done because I feel like there's still a lot left. However, I know that I'm not going to open up this stopper. I like it. I like the look that it gives me, but I just don't, I don't love, I feel like I always have to reapply this. Like I'm constantly having to reapply this and I don't love that. Um, so yeah, it, it gives like a beautiful glassy look, but it's like so thin that it's like quick. But that being said, it's not like sticky either. So it kind of depends on your preference. Decent lip gloss, not what I'm looking for, I think is the overall consensus consensus of the review on that. Okay, so my Ofra highlighter and Beverly Hills, but I mixed it all together. It's all mixed up, it's no longer a pinwheel. Here we go, we have that pan right in the middle, slowly growing and that pan I'm using for my inner corner highlight, just Topping it off, I have actually a couple of highlighters, one in the Fall For You project pan and then also in my Pan That palette. Um, I have a face palette that has highlighters and so both of those at this point in time are the priority. So this is not being used as a face highlight right now, it is just being used as my inner corner highlight and it's going to take a while <laughs> if I just use it like that. Um, but once those ones are used up, I mean, we'll see, we'll see what happens. And that's it for now in terms of Project Pan, in terms of my no buy. So let me just tell you, I, I haven't bought anything, so spoiler there. So I went ahead and took my inventory. So that will be up soon-ish. I went ahead and I took my inventory and as I was cleaning out my bathroom, <laughs> I found a bag of a bunch of makeup that I was like, Oh, this is where it was. So here we go. You ready for rambly bit? <laughs> um, uh, in the beginning of the pandemic, basically I was up school, up at school at San Francisco, 
when the pandemic hit, the school shut down, I came back down into SoCal um, to be with family during all that. So I packed some makeup to bring with me. Um, school ended. I went up to San Francisco to move all my stuff because all my stuff was still there aside from like the stuff that I brought with me. And I went up there and I packed it all up and I moved back down here. And so basically I had some things that were here that I like had brought with me to live for the next couple months and then everything else was there things got separated all this different stuff and i think if you've seen my collection videos i was like i'm pretty sure i had a champagne pop but i'm not sure like if i gave it to my roommate or not but that's missing and then there was one that was like a um, mac lipstick and cream cup i was like that was missing as well i was like what the heck where is it well of course i found it in my bathroom it was in a little bag like up in a basket <laughs> above tucked away and I thought that I had brought it with me, but it's one of those things where it's like, yeah, I thought that I had it, all these things, but I kind of like put it up to like, uh, with moving and traveling and I did declutter stuff while I was up there giving away some things like to my roommates. And I'm like, maybe I've like, it was just one of those things where my brain was everywhere. So anyways, I had those on top of that, whenever I brought in things while I was down here in San Francisco, I also, my, my mom let me shop her stash um so I also acquired some makeup from her and yeah that was again though I acquired those things whenever all my makeup aside from like the handful of things that I brought with me was still up in San Francisco so basically what I'm saying is my numbers have grown <laughs> even though I want to know by my numbers have still grown yeah and like again because like I found this like bag of makeup that I had brought with me like that I forgot about I was like oh I have even more stuff than I thought because when I obviously when I like packed everything back or brought everything back down put things back like kind of together my collection back together I was like oh like the makeup I acquired actually doesn't seem like that much stuff um like it was a lot of stuff but it was like oh, okay my it doesn't feel like it's grown that much but it has <laughs> it definitely has I mean not that much it's not like I have like 50 new eyeshadow palettes or anything like that um, it's like a couple here and there, but still a couple here and there makes a difference, especially when you're looking at like categories. Yeah, basically I'm good on buying stuff. Like the fact that like just seeing that I'm kind of bringing that up because I'm like, oh, seeing like my inventory has grown, even though I've been on a no buy for like a year and a half, maybe I'm not quite sure. Like, oh, that like, I'm like, dang, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, again, I'm like, I don't, I'm not like feeling bad about myself. I've like accepted bringing in the makeup, especially because I know like that was makeup my mom is not using. So again, I'm like, my biggest thing is I don't want to contribute to waste. So I'm like, okay, well, at least I know I'm bringing it into me and I will use it. <laughs> um, even if it takes me a little bit, um, it will get used up. I guess I don't know what to say with that, but that's where we're at. Also, I forgot to say that all together with this project, I've used up 35 things, which means I have 15 more things to use up, which means I'm not even using 15 or working on 15 products right now. Um, so this will not be accomplished by the end of the year. I will definitely, this will be going on till next year. <sighs> There's just, it's a lot, but that is that I think it's kind of feeling rambly, but basically I'm saying that I really didn't have I'm not having urges to buy things right now. I mean, there are things that I want. I always want things, but I don't have a need or in theory I want things because it's new and pretty and shiny. But like when I look at my collection, I'm fairly satisfied. That's that. <laughs> I think that's it. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And let me know how your projects are going. Um, I've definitely seen a couple of people say that they're going to be doing this type of project as well which i'm so happy about let me know if you're doing that and i can come and cheer you on and yeah um or even if it's like you know whatever project plan you're doing let me know or know by that you're doing let me know so i can cheer you on as well because yeah your all of your help really helps <laughs> um so thank you so much have a good day